Most people start homeschooling something like this. Right, the schools have just closed and the teachers have put something online. Quick, 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 let's go get it. Go kids, go kids. Right, how to homeschool, how to homeschool. Where do I start, where do I start? There's like a gazillion different curriculum options out there. So what curriculum do you use then? Right, so don't use that curriculum, but use this curriculum. But only if you have kids who learn like that. Uh-huh. Wait, are you saying I need to de-school before I even do any of this? That's right, we are. And that's because it's your best move after you start looking into homeschooling. It will make everything that follows a lot more relaxing. De-schooling is just removing the formal way we think about schooling from our mindset to allow us to homeschool more effectively. The best way to homeschool your children is not by trying to copy the school's way of doing it. There's much better ways. And during your de-schooling period, the process of de-schooling, you're going to spend time discovering the best way you can educate your children. It's been recommended you de-school for a month every year that your child spent in school. So for example, if you have children who were in school for two two years, then you would want to de-school them for two months. If this isn't possible, for example, you have children who are a lot older, perhaps in high school, well, just de-school them for a period so that they can become relaxed and get used to the idea of homeschooling and this idea of trying to educate themselves. Why do you need to de-school? Well, most of us have a school mindset. Most of us went to school for a certain period of our lives. It's common to miss a lot of natural natural learning opportunities just because it doesn't look like the school's way of education. A de-schooling period can give your children an opportunity to discover this new way of learning they haven't been doing in school so far. Of course, they knew how to do it when they were toddlers, that was their way of education, but school can sometimes beat it out of kids. So in this way, de-schooling provides you a smooth transition into the homeschooling environment. What are some benefits of de-schooling? Well, firstly, you won't waste too much money on curriculum. During the de-schooling process, you will be able to research different curriculum type, observe your children and figure out what works best for you. So you won't have to change and chop all the time. You won't have as many power struggles where children are trying to force you into a certain way of doing things. Instead, Instead, you'll be able to collaborate and work together and learning will increase as a result. Thirdly, your children will want to learn and this will make homeschooling more enjoyable for you. And you won't find homeschooling is as hard as a result. How do you de-school? Honey, what's up? It's a subscribe button right there. Can you hit that for me? Firstly, you want to ignore formal curriculum. The de-schooling period is a time where you just have fun with your children. You go on picnics together, you go out to the beach, you pick up seashells, you go to visit a farm. You learn how to learn naturally. Don't think about falling behind in schoolwork. Think about this period as being a catalyst to your children's growth in the future, because it is. During this time, you want to let your children get plenty of sleep. A lot of the time when we send our children to school, we cut their sleep off in the morning where they want to sleep for a bit more and in the evening when a lot of teenagers want to stay up later and read books we say well no you need to go to sleep now because you've got to get up early tomorrow for school. You want to let children lean into their natural sleep habits more. This will again increase learning when you have children who are well slept. Let them have a nana nap if that is what they need to learn well. So what are some de-schooling activities you can do together? First of all plan to do nothing. Wait, you want me to do nothing? That's right, nothing. That is have loads of unstructured time. This might be a little bit stressful for you and your children when you first start, especially when they've been used to getting their schedule for the day. But after a while, they'll start to think critically and make their own fun. Secondly, do lots of reading together. Mm, Matthew C, why not? And if your kids aren't old enough, well, get them to listen to an audiobook. Down below, I'll link an incredible book list just for homeschoolers. And basically what I want you to do is go to this book list, find the grade age your child is at, take those books, plug them in YouTube, followed with the word audiobook, and then let your children listen to these audiobooks. They'll pick up incredible language skills along the way. Second, get the kids outside. Have them really engage with nature. Dig holes, make mud pies, plant vegetables, clean the cat, the dog, the guinea pig, anything. Or just go for a bushwalk. 
Next, you can get the kids into craft. I find there's some really good deals on cheap craft supplies in opportunity shops, and there's often lots of fun used games you can get from these secondhand shops too. Give your children a few dollars to spend at the op shop and see what they come back with. Tell them it has to be educational. What about cooking with your children? Bake a cake together, make muffins together. Teach your children how to do chores and do them well, do them properly. Get your kids into a sports group. This is a great way they can see other children regularly and get some physical activity in on the side. Also, don't forget to join a homeschool group. These are fantastic and the homeschoolers won't feel like they're the odd kid out. And you as a homeschool parent can talk to other homeschool parents who are in the same boat as you. There's probably lots of other homeschool parents just a few steps ahead of you who have just spent time answering all the questions that you've got at the moment. And that will be a fantastic resource for you. So join a homeschool group. Now you should never really finish de-schooling, rather it should merge into your formal curriculum work. Slowly add in your formal curriculum work as you get to the end of your, I guess your formal de-schooling period. By the end of this time you'll find your children are rip-roaring and ready to get started with their formal work. Learning will have taken on a sweet savour for them during this period if you've done your de-schooling correctly. Children would have spent time making friends with you again and you're not seen as that annoying authority figure you may have been a few months ago. Of course, while you de-school, you also want to be researching other homeschooling issues. For example, what is all this business about homeschooling methods? Well, you can find out about homeschooling methods and you can learn a little bit about homeschool curriculum and the basics in this video.